I'm a professor at MIT, and I run the Global Engineering and Research Lab. And uh, I'm also an early career engineer. Uh, I'm 32 years old. I just started on the faculty. And uh, I think the message I want you to get out of this presentation is that you can leverage your technical skills to make a positive impact in the world. And, and that's what I try to do in my lab group. And uh, I'll talk about how you could do it as an academic or as an entrepreneur. The research in my lab focuses on marrying together rigorous engineering science and user-centered product design in order to create new technologies that have a real impact in the world. And we do this by creating hardware and addressing real technical challenges out in the world by making real technologies. We do it through a scientific method in that we try to articulate the relationships between the environment in which the technology is going to be used and the performance of the technology. And that lets other engineers leverage our technology for their specific situations and hopefully glean some scientific insight into the problem that these technolo technologies are trying to address. And then finally, all the projects I do, we design with stakeholders. So we try to get input from all the people that will determine the success or failure of the technology during the design process. So, so hopefully get, that, get the technology to a viable solution. And we push the technology towards global uh, commercialization all the way through the design process. So the example I'm going to give of this today is the Leverage Freedom Chair, which is a wheelchair designed for rural areas of developing countries. And a lot of people need a wheelchair in this space, about 40 million people worldwide, and the majority of those people do live in rural areas. And the products available right now for these people really aren't suitable for those conditions. Imagine trying to go two kilometers a day pushing yourself in a manual wheelchair on a dirt road. We have some products in the US that, that go off road really well and go on rough terrain. The problem is they're wicked expensive. We really had to think outside the box and start with a new solution to meet these needs. So what the Leverage Freedom Chair is, is a lever-powered wheelchair that enables a user to go fast and efficiently on rough terrains, primarily in rural areas of developing countries. And they do this by pushing on the levers. The key innovation is that if you grab low on the levers, you can push through a big angle every stroke and go really fast. And another key point of the technology is that every single moving part is made of a bicycle component you can find anywhere in the developing world. And this makes the chair manufacturable and repairable even out in a village area. And we also tested that technology in context in developing countries. So we were able to see in real scenarios that our chair was outperforming normal wheelchairs. But not only did we gather scientific data, we also talked with the wheelchair users. We got their feedback and we engaged them as partners in the design. Because no, no matter how much I study this, I don't have the perspective of being a developing world wheelchair user. They do. And we, we asked them how the chair was performing through different trials. So in our first test in East Africa, we got feedback that, you know, indoors, the chair is total crap. It's too wide, it's too heavy, it's hard to maneuver around. But off-road, yeah, it's really, really good. So that sent us back to the drawing board. And with our partners, we designed a next generation chair that was smaller, lighter, more maneuverable. And it, and it was much, much better indoors and still was pretty good off-road compared to normal wheelchairs, but it, but it had some niggling issues. So we went back to the drawing board again, fixed those issues, and then we were able to make a product that could be, could uh, do as well as a normal wheelchair indoors and just blow everything out of the water outdoors. Now as far as disseminating the product, we teamed up with the largest disability organization in the, in the world, Jai Four Foot, and also scaled, uh, teamed up with a manufacturing partner and we're now able to produce 500 chairs a month and we're starting to ship around the world. Now to do this, I had to recognize that as an academic, I'm, it's difficult for me to take a product to market. The, the value or the reward structure in my job is to create knowledge, publish that knowledge, but not necessarily make a product. So we needed a way to transfer that proof of concept that you get out of academia into a real commercial product. So we set up a new organization, Global Research Innovation and Technology, and together with two former students, they're now running this organization and taking care of issues like quality control, shipping logistics, marketing, donor relations, all the things that are non-academic in nature, but that are crucial to getting this product to market. You know, you can really leverage the constraints of these environments to really, really push the innovation. If you do it right, you can make an impact worldwide. When you look at the innovation cycle, when you come up with a new idea, you, you develop it, you validate it, and then you move to commercialization, and finally you get it out into the market. 
That cycle has to start and end with end users. It's the end users that have to say, we want this technology, and it's the end users at the end that have to say, yes, this actually works for us, we want this, we'll buy it. And as you go around that cycle, you ha there's different stakeholders that can lend different skills to different parts. So in the beginning, you know, we had this, this cool idea, we were students at the time, and it made sense to develop that idea within academia. But then to transfer it to, to commercialization, we needed the help of an organization like GRIT and Continuum. And then to get it manufactured at scale, we had to team up with a big manufacturing partner. And then to get it out in the world, we had to team up with a big distribution partner that could distribute it at scale. And I think when you do these projects, it's really important to put together all those stakeholders that represent each link in the chain, going from inception of an idea to, in, to commercialization in the real world. So I encourage you to think about how you can leverage your technical skills to make a positive impact in the world. Thanks a lot.